Former Brighton star Aaron Moy is set to sign a one-year deal with Celtic FC, with an option for an added 12 months at Parkhead. The 31-year-old has been a free agent since leaving Shanghai Port earlier this year, but has been keeping fit at his base in Glasgow. And now he will link up with his former Australia manager, Angie Postacoglu, ahead of the new campaign, with the league season kicking off in a fortnight. After Celtic's win away to Bannock Ostrava, Angie Postacoglu was asked about two specific transfer targets. Both were praised without any indication that deals were in the pipeline, the general consensus that was neither was about to become a Celtic player. Overnight it seems that one of those targets, Aaron Moy, is very close to joining Celtic. If the Australian is almost over the line it puts Postecoglou's comments on Edouard Michou in a new light. The pair enjoyed success with the Socceroos and will now link up at Celtic Park, ahead of the Scottish Premiership champions' return to the Champions League, after a five-year absence. Moy moved to Britain with Bolton and spent time with St Mirren on loan before he joined Manchester City, which paved the way for a move to their affiliate club in Melbourne. He then impressed at Huddersfield and Brighton before heading to China. Asked about the Paris Saint-Germain teenager, Postacoglu told the Daily Record. Yeah, good player, but no. I have an interest in every good footballer in the world, but there is a limited market which I can tap into. Turning to Moy, he added. He's another footballer who is very much talented and very much in my range, but that doesn't mean we're going to bring him in, no. Aaron's a fantastic footballer, somebody I know really well. I'm sure he will get picked up, he's a very talented player. In terms of us, we have got a plan that we are sticking to and so far I am pretty happy with the progress we are making on all fronts and hopefully there will be some news coming out before the season starts. We are going through the process and making sure we get the ones that we need. Standard manager talk is not to comment on specific targets, dismiss questions as speculation, but Postecoglou's transfer plan seemed to accelerate at the weekend with Postecoglou expecting to have two signings completed this week. With Ben Segrist and Alexandro Bernabé featuring against Blackburn, there is a decent rate of turnover in the Celtic squad with the real possibility that incoming transfer activity will be completed before the end of July. Moy played for Postacoglu in the Australian national team, so the Celtic boss knows all about the quality the midfielder can bring to his squad as he seeks to replace New Bitten and Tom Rogic, who both left the club at the end of last season having helped bring the Premiership title back to Parkhead. Moy did well during his time at Huddersfield Town and Brighton and Hove Albion, and he is still only 31. Moreover, the Australian will come as a free transfer at Celtic, and that is certainly great. What do you think of us getting Moy? For me, it says the in-demand Forsto Vera is attempting to negotiate a move away from Argentinos juniors this summer amid links with Celtic, according to the player's agent Christian Barite. That deal is dead and the gaffer has gone with a trusted player he knows to get him through this season. Celtic will not fight it out for a player. Brazilian side Corinthians have made a formal offer of 6 million euros for 70% of the economic rights for the midfielder, while the Argentinian club have also reportedly received a similar offer from Belgian first division side K.A.A. Gent, according to media in Brazil. The Argentina U23 international still has six months left on his contract at the Primera Division side, with the club having the option to extend his stay by a further year. This if you ask me is what opened up the door to the Aaron Moy deal. Tell me what you think in the comments. And on that note have a great day Celtioc fans all around the world. Lit. Roll up to the party.